All right, hello everyone, my name is Peter. And here's a video sponsored by Squarespace, which I made a couple of days ago. And Welcome to my little shed, and I haven't been using it much, but maybe I should be using it more. Thankfully, one of the things weirdly touched away, tucked, tucked away in the back of this little shed is a refrigerator. It's time for a brief fridge tour. Don't worry, it'll go quick. It has just what we need inside of it for this project. Some spray paint, which is what we're gonna use to make and decorate the frame of the painting for this video. Uh, nozzles and tips for the spray paint and the butter tray here that goes right there. So we're good to go. We got the Montana black, I think that's what this is, yeah. For the, uh, got the whites and blacks up here. And then uh, some other colors I thought we might need, including some fun ones like gold and silver. I haven't tried these before. All right, and here is what we're gonna be working on, a little uh, workbench I set up with a, a, a light, which I mounted on this, on this beam up here. It looks pretty good. Here's the idea, okay? Uh, this is gonna be the main thing in the back, this, uh, there's a birch panel, and then I got this thrift frame, which is kind of ornate, it's kind of falling apart, but once we cover it in a nice bright coat of paint, it'll look a lot better, I think. And then in, on the inside, I want to put, I want to glue or, you can see here I've got a, a drill and uh, some screws. I might just screw everything together. I don't know if that's a good idea or not, but I can pre-drill if I need to so things don't fall apart. I want to put this on the middle, kind of like an inner frame, and then the actual artwork will be this little panel I got right here. Look, it's so cute and adorable. It's like two inches by two inches. I love the proportions. It's perfectly square inside a rectangular frame, which could be interesting. Um, it's hard to show where it will go like that but it's gonna be like right here in the middle maybe I'll paint it like sold in solid gold so it'll look like a little golden block or brick in the middle there now planning phase is over time to execute usually I find myself making art with a pen and paper which you can attest to if you've seen any of my other videos and at first glance this art here that I'm making may seem a little bit different. In fact, a lot different. The scale is different, it's bigger, it's adding another dimension, it's 3D, right? And I'm not drawing anything really. At first I thought I might draw something, but in the end you'll see that there are almost no lines drawn in this whole piece. I just work with putting some different little chunks and pieces, frames, elements together. And at first it seems so much different, but as I'll explain, the process in my mind is still very, very similar to how I approach my drawings and doodles with pen and paper, which I think is really cool. Now, I use mostly uh, pieces of wood and spray paint for this project. I gotta admit, spray paint is pretty difficult to work with, and I was surprised by how difficult it was to make spray paint look good, but it's easy to make a website look good with Squarespace. You can use their various templates, plus they have domain hosting. So once you design your website, you can get it on the World Wide Web for everyone to see and use. And maybe you do know how to do something cool like spray painting or street art or something. You wanna share some tutorials or tips or just the stuff that you've been working on. If you wanna sell some of your art, they have wonderful e-commerce tools 
both as far as selling things in real life and keeping inventory or selling them online. All these very useful analytics to see where people are looking at your website, where they're coming from, where they're going. Very simple, straightforward. Go to squarespace.com for a free trial. And when you're ready to launch, go to squarespace.com slash Peter Draws for 10% off your first website or domain. Go out there, set yourself up a cool website. So I am here today mostly in, in support of ugly art because I think it gets thrown a little under the bus uh, as people strive for beautiful art and perfect art, maybe the worst kind, but it's okay. Uh, because ugly art, beautiful art, perfect art, all this type of stuff, all can fall under a more important umbrella, that of interesting art, okay? Even though I just, uh, I said perfect art wasn't good. It, it, perfect art can still be interesting, I guess, even though it's less likely to be. But I'm just trying to say, don't shy away from making quote unquote ugly art because I know the word ugly has a negative connotation and a lot of people say, you know, they make art and then the, the last thing they want to hear about it is that it's ugly. That's totally understandable. But when you fill your head with all these things about how to make everything beautiful and look amazing, like all this color theory and art theory, like learning about which colors go where and proportions and all this type of stuff. I mean, it's good. It can be helpful, but like I said in the past, it can also hold you back. And I think some of the most interesting stuff is the ugliest stuff like trash, literal trash. I get some of my best inspiration from that. I love that. Just looking trash piles, right? Broken stuff. There's, there should be a different type of beauty, which I call interestingness. Inter that's not a word, but it, sh it should be anywhere. And sometimes the beautiful stuff, I'm kind of working on multiple definitions of these words here, which is difficult. I need to figure that out. Anyways, also what I wanted to say is the different uh, types of art, the drawing, the this weird amalgamations of different frames and pieces of wood that I'm painting here today, it really does have the same mental approach, right? With the drawings, I, I end this, I go into it with uh, a vibe, uh, an idea in my head, just enough to get me started. Like in this case, it was, hey, I think I wanna put this frame there and the other frame on the inside and maybe that block somewhere in the middle. I didn't know anything about the colors or textures or anything like that. And just like with my drawing slash doodling, whatever you want to call it, I made the decisions one at a time in a linear fashion. I didn't make decision two until I had made decision one. Some people plan out their art all ahead of time. They know what it look, it's going to look like at the end before they start and the art isn't finished until it matches that final image they had uh, before they started. I try not to have that final image in my head at all. And I think that keeps me excited about making art. Okay, it works different for everyone else. I'm not saying this is the only way or the best way or even, well, I think it is a good way to make art. But I'm saying like I painted one thing blue, then I, then I thought, huh, maybe I'll paint the next thing red. And then this other thing maybe teal or cyan or whatever these colors are called. And it's kind of the same mental process I use for drawing the lines in my drawings, like maybe this shape, maybe that shape, this one goes good with that. And I just kind of move things around, drill them down, obviously a little bit different with lines and paint, because with paint, you can paint over things and drilling pieces of wood together, you can move them around, undrill them, redrill them to some extent. Anyways, I just thought it was interesting to see, even though the, the material, the medium changed so much, the mental process could pretty much stay the same. And I really liked the result. Oh, I don't really, I don't know, it just, it's like this big, bold, fun thing to look at. Uh, sometimes when you make the, this quote unquote ugly art, I don't know, some people will say it's beautiful. I don't really think this piece is beautiful, but I do think it's interesting. All these words, ugly, beautiful, perfect, art in general, all fall short of the reality of the situation. So it's difficult to talk about, but thank you for watching everyone. And I'll see you later. Let me know what you think about this non-drawing stuff. Uh, anyways, bye.